Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, putting this in the bathroom. Um, I got this to try to use to wash Ella's hair. You like put it on their head like this, like a little hat. Um, and it's supposed, to, like the hair is supposed to be on the outside and this is supposed to sit like down and around um, to see about washing her hair easier, see about like if maybe that helps with her like freaking out. Hopefully it does. It was only like six bucks. So if not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> She's just, she curled herself up in my blanket using my pillows. Aww. Um, but I got my new diamond painting organizer today. So take it out and show you guys that without disturbing her. Um, let me grab her sippy cup real quick, but actually, let me grab my old one too so I can show you. Tim just ran over, he ran his brother over to the little local pizza place, I guess they ordered a pizza, and I cut my finger, like, right at the crease, I was wiping off the counter, and a piece of... This like bunny thing must have broken off um, and like sliced my finger. You guys can see the blood, it's just not wanting to focus for some reason. Come on. So, yeah, I like sliced my finger and it like really hurts. But, anyways, this is what I had before. Obviously, None of the numbers are organized right now because when I caught Ella in them, I just kind of threw them all back in there and just didn't care where they went. Um, but normally it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know. But like I said, most of them were like full like this and she dumped them. Uh, that one's still pretty full, but she dumped out a lot of these ones. She dumped out almost all of these ones. Um... You know, half of 20. That one's missing a little, but then this one was completely full. And so, like, number one is just completely empty, and that one was full too. So it just kind of sucks. Um, but like I said, the guy is sending replacements. The, like, I told you guys in yesterday's vlog, but the. Um, seller. I messaged him, let him know the situation, told him that I had all of my diamonds all organized and everything, and my daughter got into him and spilled over half of them. Um, he ended up refunding me the money and told me to repurchase the product. So that's what I did. It just won't be here until like Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So today I'm going to be starting a different one. Um, like a different diamond painting, but I kept these in their corresponding numbers just in case I would run short on one of them or something while I'm doing that. But um, my new new container here, um, it's got this purple trim, which I absolutely love purple. It's black. It's like a little carry case. Um, it's got the handle, two zippers. I'm going to go ahead and unzip these and show you guys what is in here. If I can get my fingers to cooperate because my fingers really hurt. So you open it up. You've got all kinds of goodies up here. And then these are all of the diamonds. Um, it's a 60 count of bottle. Um, but these are all of the diamonds for the new diamond painting I'm going to be starting today. I'm starting the Zelda one. Um, but you guys can see some of them, there's hardly any. But then some of them, like from here, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, these are all the same color. Um, 23s, there's four. The threes, there's two. Um, but most of them I was able to fit in one bottle. Like, some of these are just so minimal. Um, some of them are really full. I'm trying to find the one that I really like. There's like barely anything in it. 
There it is. <laughs> so this is number 550 in the color wheel of everything. Come on. I absolutely love it. It's like a deep purple. But then it came with another ruler. Come on, focus. But it came with a roller, a collapsible funnel, two of these green trays, and this one big massive white tray. Um, that, I think, is in case you have a lot to do. I could just take this out, dump it all into here, and then it's even got the little like funnel to help pour it back into the bottle. Um, it came with a couple of spoons. Let me... Actually, you guys over here set you guys up. Um, so it came with two sheets of stickers to label the bottles. Came with this corrector. So if you put the gems on the wrong line or they're off slightly, you can like use this to like push them up. Some tweezers in case you place the wrong diamond on the wrong spot. Um, it came with two spoons. I'm not entirely sure why, but it came with two spoons. Um, it came with four pens, so they each all have the one gem or one diamond or one drill or whatever you want to call it piece here. Um, so you just do this single, um, or it came with, I think these are five drills, five drill bottoms. Came with a two or a three. I want to say this is closer to a three or an eight. Um, so if I wanted to, I could just do one or eight or one or two or, you know, whatever. Um, it came with some baggies and it also came with eight like cements that are all kind of still stuck together. Um, I just thought this was one big piece when I got it and I was like, cause I've never had a mud that big, but um, I really like it. This thing was delivered way earlier than my normal deliveries. Um, normally, Amazon deliveries, like from UPS, don't get here until closer to between 4 and 7. Usually, they're closer to around 6 o'clock when they get here. But it also came with this little bag to help keep things organized and then I just have a pen to write on the stickers for the number a pair of scissors to open the gem bags that it comes with like I said it comes with a collapsible silicone funnel and the gem roller as well um, this was only like 30 bucks which is not bad considering that this piece of junk was like 10 bucks like i said in yesterday's video it is absolute trash <laughs> i don't like to say that about products but it doesn't like latch right i'll show you guys here after i get this put away so this here see i didn't even do anything except for push it down this does not latch in very well there is like plastic in here and I cannot get it out you guys can see maybe yeah like right right here there's like that piece of plastic you can see my finger below it that's not supposed to be in there so that's preventing it from latching correctly um, and I just cannot get it out no matter what I've tried and then these open up super easy there's like nothing really keeping them closed um and also let me slide all of these over so it they should have either made the box a little smaller so that this gap was not here or they should have made these a little wider so that that gap was filled or even just left it like that. But now I'm left with these two pieces that they had in here. And then, you know, 
that is still room. They should have included at least a third one if they were going to do that because it leaves room for these to all slide around. And if I slid this one down, same thing, you know? Um, and that just bothers me because they just, they're never in a nice order. Like even now, these are not in a nice order. Um, this just stresses me out, but it worked, but it just stresses me out. Um, this one is just much better organized. I like having the individual box, like containers. And if I wanted to, I could even take this entire thing out and I'm left with that. Um, and I could use this for whatever else, whether it be diamond painting, whether it be anything for Etsy or you know, whatever. I don't have to worry about this being like a permanent diamond painting thing. So I just really like this case. Like I said, it was like 30 bucks, but it came with all of the things I just showed you up here and all of the containers and like I said, these stickers and everything like that. And I absolutely perfect. Um, but then the fact that it comes with the two zippers, I can get a little suitcase lock and lock it. This way Ella can't get into them, untwist them, and dump my diamonds everywhere like she did before with these. So this is my new little diamond painting organizer and I love it. <laughs> okay, so I need to go get pants on. <laughs> um, Ella has some cantaloupe and some cream cheese and chive like cracker sandwich things. Um, that's what she asked for for her snack. Um, it's currently, oh, excuse me, 20 to six. Um, she usually eats dinner around 7.30, 8 o'clock-ish. Um, between, well, between, we'll say between seven and eight is when she sits down to eat her dinner. Um, but, I was outside with her earlier. Um, it was too cold to really play outside. Um, like I said, it's only like 40, 42 degrees at the highest today. Um, but we were out and it started to like, it wasn't like raining, but it wasn't not raining. It was like misting out. Um, oh, come on, get in there. Um, so it wasn't terrible enough to where we were getting soaked, but um, the ground was obviously wet. But on the way home from my mother-in-law's house, she had found a puddle. She found the only muddy puddle in our driveway. Um, and she was over, you know, out splashing in it. And I was standing out there with her. My pants got wet. Like, because I'm so short, the, like base of my pants get soaking wet like they get so wet it's ridiculous um and when I walk I end up walking on my sh uh, pants just because they're so long hey you need to get back up in your chair and eat okay um so I took them off and put them in the laundry and then I just had my underwear on I had just honestly forgot to put pants on because before Ella was born, I was never in pants if I was home. Um, and even as a baby, uh, just ever since she turned two, Tim and I have been making it a point to actually get dressed in the mornings. Um, like, I will stay in my nightgown, but I will have shorts on underneath of it. Um, Tim will be shirtless, but he'll have pants on, that type of thing. Um, we're at that point now where she's like, she's starting to get to that age where we need to be dressed before she gets up and comes and wakes us up and everything. Um, so we just try to get up before she does anymore. But right now I'm just kind of cleaning up her shoes. This is what she was jumping in the puddles in. Um, and then I came inside and got her actual like rain boots. Um, this way she wasn't ruining these. But, yeah, so I had just taken my pants off and just didn't put anything else on. That's why I needed to get some shorts on. Um, so now that I've got my shorts on, I'm going to get the house cleaned up. Um, I don't have a whole lot of dishes to do last night because 
Tim ended up telling me that since I was not feeling good, um, he didn't want me to cook dinner if I didn't want to. Um, and I went to go start cooking it because I felt a little bit better. But as soon as I like smelled the oil heating up in the pan, I got nauseous again. So I just ended up not cooking dinner. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's because you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. No, I'm not, actually. Um, I mean, I very well could be, but I'm not getting any positive tests as of yet. And today I am 12, 11 TPO, something like that. I'm getting to the point where you would be definitely getting a positive if you were pregnant. So I didn't test today. I tested yesterday. I got a negative, which I think yesterday was 10 DPO. So, um, but yeah, so I just cleaned up her shoes. I just used one of these disinfecting wipes from Sam's Club, um, just because it was right here and I didn't feel like going in her room and getting a baby wipe. Um, but I do need to keep an eye on her because Tim has something going on both printers for me, he's making me a little like drawer system. Um, it's gonna have four drawers. I'm gonna use it for my diamond painting stuff. Where did she go? Oh, she's in here. Okay, she's down at the foot of the bed. You guys can see her right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna have four drawers. One for my pens, one for the trays, one for the mud, like cement stuff, and then one just for whatever. Um, bags maybe, I don't know yet, but he's making me that and takes a lot of filament, so if she messes it up, I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> he's gonna be so mad if she messes it up, but she makes such a mess while eating. I don't mind because obviously, you know, I love her and you know, I waited so long to have her, but Tim gives her stuff like this. It's coconut or vanilla frosted toasted coconut cinnamon rolls. Gives it to her. She obviously makes a mess and he leaves to go to work and doesn't clean it up. So stuff like that agitates me, but that's whatever. Um, tomorrow we will not be home very much, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure, so, I'm pretty sure tomorrow we are going to go with our friends and take them car shopping. Um, he wants to sell his truck that he has, um, and get something a little bit easier on gas. And so he wants to look around at cars for that. Um, and then maybe end up getting one. Um, I guess he's selling the truck for like 35. Um, and he, if he finds a truck that he likes, um, Tim told him he would split the difference. Like he would pay the rest. Oh, like he would pay for all of it. And our friend would give him the 35 that he got for the truck and then make payments on the rest of it. Because we've done that with him before. He, we've bought him probably four or five different cars and they pay us back like each paycheck and then if they still owe anything income taxes is when they fully pay everything back and they pay it off with taxes but I think we're gonna go do that and then Tim's gonna try and get out of work tomorrow so that he doesn't have to go in uh, which would be fantastic if he doesn't have to go in because I don't want him to go in. I want to have a family day. Um, so I think we're going to see about maybe him getting a family day tomorrow and we can just go out with our friends, go car shopping, take them back home, or if they end up getting the car, go to the dealer, or to the notary and everything like that, get all their paperwork done and then they can drive themselves home in the new car. Um, but if not, then obviously we will take them home, um, this way they're not stranded. Um, and then just end up going 
out to do whatever for the week or for the day. Um, I also, <laughs> so that pot leaf tumbler I was making for my friend that gave me the pot leaves, nothing is going right on that tumbler. So first I did the smoke effect. Didn't realize I had to seal it. Accidentally brushed up against it and messed it up. It smudged it really bad. Messed it up. Had to wipe it all off, repaint it white, re-smoke effect it, seal it with clear spray paint. Then I had to put the epoxy on it. I put one coat of epoxy, had a couple of little dips in it where like the epoxy started to pull apart from itself because it does that in colder temperatures. It did that in a few spots, but it wasn't nothing too bad that I couldn't fix with another coat. Um, I went to put another coat on it yesterday. You come out to get more cantaloupe? Huh? Daddy. Daddy's working. Mm -hmm. Oh, what'd you trip on? But anyways, I mixed up the epoxy, went to put the leaf on it. The glue ripped the leaf. Bye bye. The glue ripped the leaf like five different places. Managed to kind of fix it on the cup, but it still didn't look the best, but it didn't look bad, you know? Went to put the epoxy on it, it just wiped everywhere. I ended up having to completely rip the leaf off of it, change gloves, make some more epoxy. It was just a whole mess. Put the epoxy on it, left obviously, left the leaf off. I just... Put the epoxy on it, trying to clear those little dimps in it um, so that it'd be ready for whenever I brainstormed an idea for that cup for him. And I went out today and there's way more dimps in it today than there was yesterday because it's been so cold. So I'm going to try one more coat of epoxy, probably not tonight because it's still going to be cold tomorrow and stuff. Um, but on the next warm day, I'm going to try it, see how it goes. <laughs> she keeps running circles around me and falling on her butt. But anyways, once it warms up, I'm going to put another coat of epoxy, see if I can't fix the dimps. If not, then I'm going to have to completely strip the cup and start from scratch. But I figured out what I wanted to do in terms of design for his cup. So he likes the Philadelphia Eagles. It's just the football team that he likes. So what I planned to do was do a printed cutout of the Eagles logo with the word Eagles and then the actual like Eagle head. Print that out, put it on the cup, do the power wash method like I did with Tim's. Ooh. Do the power wash method, which what that is, is you put the epoxy over the decal, you spritz it, or you put epoxy over it, okay? You spritz it with the Dawn Power Wash and then spray it with spray paint and then wash off the Dawn Power Wash. And it'll leave you with this type of design. This is what I'm gonna do with the Philadelphia Eagles logo, this exact type thing here. Um, and then, that's going to be on the front side and then after I do that with the Dawn Power Wash, um, I will also, okay, so back up. I'm going to put the Philadelphia Eagles print out, like printed cut thing sticker on it, put epoxy over it, cut removable vinyl pot leaf stickers, um, like out of removable vinyl put them on the cup, kind of like I did with the <sighs> pot leaf cup that I just finished, the one that actually succeeded and worked out. Um, I'm gonna put removable vinyl on there. Do the Dawn Power Wash there on just that section. Spray paint the entire cup 
the Philadelphia Eagles like midnight green or dark teal or whatever color it is that they have. Spray paint it that color, wash off the Dawn Power Wash, then go back and remove the pot leaf vinyl decals. And it's what's known as a peekaboo. So in that way, you'll have the Philadelphia Eagles like green color that they have as the main color of the cup. And then you'll see the smoke effect with the Eagles logo power washed on like that with all the little bubbles type things around it. And then on the opposite side, you'll have the smoke effect pot leaf sticking out through the green. Does that make sense? I really hope it does because I tried to explain that to Tim last night. He had no idea what I was talking about. But it's going to be my first two in one, three in one. It's going to be a three in one because power wash, peekaboo, and the smoke effect type tumbler all together, but I gotta find a green that matches. So, my battery's gonna die, I gotta clean up. <laughs>